Hi, I'm Scott Tiedemann, and I'm with Quilters Paradise. One of the biggest issues in quilting has to deal with our rulers and templates, and how they slip and slide as we're trying to cut. Well, we at Quilters Paradise have a solution to your problem, and that is the Handy Grabber. So this is the Handy Grabber. It is an, a durable, ultra-thin and flexible material that works with rulers and templates of all shapes and sizes. The size of it is two inches by seven uh, and a half inches, and the texture of it is kind of like sandpaper, so it has that very grippy kind of material to it. So here's a closer look at the actual product. As you can see uh, with the Cut Right Handy Grabber, it's white in color, but using a pen, you can use any kind of sewing pen. The sharper ones are typically better, but you just would flip it over and then just come from the side and just kind of peel it back. You can see that it's actually a little bit transparent in color. Now this transparency helps to not really affect the overall look of your ruler being able to see through it, so it's a huge positive. And another thing that you can notice is that it's super thin. This helps so that way that your ruler isn't standing so high up off the ground. And I'll show it to you once we place it onto a few of our rulers. So here are two of our smaller templates that we use. Now what I'm going to do is with just any kind of pair of scissors, I'm just going to cut some strips. Now they can be about quarter inch wide, seems to be a decent amount. You can use a rotary cutter, but I probably wouldn't do that just due to the fact that you're going to have to change the blade a little bit too often due to the fact of the sandpaper texture. So the strips that you cut don't have to be 100% precise, but about that long in length should do. Now with my pen, I'm just going to peel it back. Now before I do actually put it on, see how this, I'm pushing down with a lot of force and it's moving around a lot. We'll see what happens once I actually put this on. Now I'm putting it about a quarter inch away, that way it's not fully on the edge and kind of messes with when I try to cut with it. You can actually put it nearly anywhere on here that you'd like. Different sizes, if you wanted to do circles or squares you could do that too. I just find with the strips it's sometimes a little bit easier. Okay. So now, same amount of force. It doesn't move at all, but I can pick it up with ease. As I said before, you can also do it out of squares. So this time on our square one, I'm going to cut a little bit, a few bigger square pieces. And as you can see, even just in the corners, it holds rather smoothly. Right, to show how thin the product is, I'm going to actually put these two templates on top of each other with where it, the product is not on. So you can see how flush they are right there. Now when I flip this one over and put them back together, notice that there's just a small gap there. Now the thickness of the material is about one thirty-second of an inch. So these can also be used with quarter inch seam guide rulers, as, um, but with these ones I would recommend putting them above where the seam uh, guide is and that's just so that way you can still see it fully. Uh, you can you see how it's lined up but it doesn't really get in the way of the actual template. I hope you found this video helpful and that you enjoyed it and thanks for coming by. And remember the handy grabber is one more th item that Quilters Paradise is making quilting simpler.